the latest iPad Pro could be considered a legitimate replacement for a MacBook, thanks to greatly improved performance and a host of new desktop-like features which are coming to iOS 11 this fall. For the same price of a base model 2017 12-inch MacBook, you can get a 2017 12.9-inch iPad Pro with 256GB of storage and LTE support, an Apple Pencil, and a smart keyboard. If you don't care for LTE connectivity or increased storage, iPad's price drops to $1,067 with a keyboard and Apple Pencil. Let's take a look at the strengths of the iPad Pro over the MacBook. First off, the processor and graphics performance is surprisingly better on the iPad Pro than the MacBook. Running Geekbench 4, we saw a slight improvement in single-core performance, a decent increase in multi-core, and a substantial increase in graphics performance. This is the first time an iPad beat out a MacBook in terms of benchmark performance. The iPad Pro has a laminated, anti-reflective touchscreen display allowing for Apple Pencil support, which brings a whole new set of input features. The display is also brighter and more colorful. With brand new ProMotion technology that doubles MacBook's standard 60Hz refresh rate, iPad Pro boasts an incredibly smooth viewing experience that you have to see in person to appreciate. The refresh rate also automatically changes to adjust to the media you're looking at, helping it maintain similar battery life to the MacBook. While 12.9 inch might not sound much bigger than 12 inch, the iPad's squarish 3 x 2 aspect ratio results in increased screen space, about 25% more than the MacBook. Both devices are really portable with the iPad being lighter but larger. Adding the smart keyboard makes it slightly thicker and slightly heavier than the MacBook. We think the keys feel as good or better than the MacBook keys, but there's a downside. You can't adjust the viewing angle of the screen like you can on the MacBook. The MacBook benefits from a traditional laptop feel with increased stability while typing on your lap. On the plus side, the smart keyboard is removable, making for an enhanced one-handed experience for doing things like reading while relaxing on the couch. One major difference is the cameras. The MacBook gets a 480p FaceTime camera with the same resolution that came with the very first MacBook that featured an iSight camera over 10 years ago. The iPad Pro, on the other hand, gets a FaceTime camera capable of 7 megapixel photos and 1080p video recording, along with a bunch of added features like retina flash and image stabilization. The iPad also gets a 12 megapixel rear-facing camera capable of 4K video recording. On the software side, iPad users can access many inexpensive apps and games on the iOS App Store. iPad Pro also features the latest version of Touch ID for added security and Apple Pay support. Looking at the MacBook, Apple is able to squeeze in a host of hardware components not available on its portable lineup. The laptop features a single USB-C port, for example, which could be very useful for connecting things like an external 4K display or fast storage options. The iPad Pro makes do with Lightning, the Smart Connector, and AirPlay, none of which can support 4K video transfer. Of course, the MacBook runs on macOS, granting access to a full range of desktop features and apps you currently can't get on the iPad. On top of that, High Sierra is slated to deliver a bunch of new features this fall. MacBook can also run pro-level apps like Final Cut 10 and Premiere Pro, support that is not currently offered on the iPad. Some programs like Photoshop and Lightroom do have iOS alternatives, but these programs are held back by limited functionality. Now that the latest iPads are just as powerful as some MacBooks, we hope that developers consider iOS versions of these pro-level apps. Considering raw power, portability, app selection, and ease of use, iPad Pro can be viewed as a serious contender to full-fledged laptops like Apple's 12-inch MacBook. The coming release of iOS 11 will make Apple's tablet even more powerful, with all new multitasking features, enhanced Apple Pencil support, and the powerful Files app. For the first time, iPad Pro is, for many use cases, a laptop replacement, and with iOS 11, we consider it a better choice than a 12-inch MacBook. For the same price or less, you get more performance, a bigger, better, and more fluid display, better cameras, access to over 2 million apps on the iOS App Store, and the best stylus experience on a tablet. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.